So what I'm going to do next, I wanted to download everything else. If we wanted to download everything else, we need to go to create another cycle, which is going to be for variable i equals one, why uh, we can create a new i, because this i does not exist after the cycle is done. After the cycle is done, i is going to be deleted from the memory, or if it's not deleted from the memory, I still don't need it, so I can redefine it again. Why from the first row? Because the zeros row, the actually the very first line in the file is already, ha it, it has the headers and I already download this data. So I don't need to navigate through this. I'm going to go through actual data rows and it starts with index one. Then how many of I's I have? I have I less than number of rows. And when you ask me how many rows I have, for example, I have here, if we go, I have three rows. Uh, the index of the third row is actually two. So that's why I don't need less or equal number of rows. I just need to have less than number of rows. Then I++ plus plus again. So what we do here, because we have a lot of rows and we have a lot of columns, we need to have two cycles. But first I'm going to create a new variable that is going to be row data, the data of this row and is going to be a dictionary or a map or a hash map, depending on how you call it. I'm not sure if it's a hash map at all, but it's definitely a map. So uh, now I need to uh, iterate through uh, column names. So instead of having I here, let's do row um, index to make it simple. Row index, row index, and here is going to be call index equals zero. Uh, then call index is less than number of columns and then call index plus plus. So this is another cycle that happens inside it. So what I'm going to do, I wanted to create a dictionary uh, that will have the data of each row in it. So what, it's, what is it going to be? It's going to be um, row data of uh, the name of this column. The name of this column, so it's going to be in header's name and in header's name, it's going to have the column index. So, for example, when I go inside the seconds, when it first my first cycle gets the row, okay, for example, this row, and then it's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, and the data, the name of this column is actually is in my header's name, has the same exact indexes. So I create these equals to uh, value, the values of row index and then column index. What I need to do, I need now, uh, after here it's done, after I finish filling the first row, I need to push this data somewhere. So I'm going to create a variable called data, which is going to be new array. And I'm going to say that data.push uh, row data. And also as well, let's have logger.log row data. So let's have a row, let's have a look on uh, the reading process line by line. Because the this file, I have a formula here in the column number E that shows nothing when you don't have uh, data here. But for the script that downloads the data from this shit, this is not an empty. This is um, a string that has no symbols in it. And so what we have, we have first row with a dictionary that has text length 18, campaign contains uh, this, mobile preferred any, call out, you shall not pass, and ad group contains any. And then we have another uh, line with the same exact uh, dictionary that contains different data from a different line. The cool part here that I can get the data of row of this row very simple for example instead of uh, showing everything we can do another cycle here that will show us all callouts that we just downloaded so it's going to be variable i equals zero then i is less than this data and the amount of number of elements in it is dot length and then i plus plus and if we go here and say that um, I wanted to show data, 
So I'm going to go through all elements of this uh, data array and inst uh, it's going to return me, let's make it simple, logger.log, show me the data of i. And if I say show me the data of i, I will see exactly the same line. But I don't want to see the whole line, I want to see just the callout. So I'm going to make another index and say show me the callout. Let's have dot .com on the end and let's push the preview. I don't have uh, errors on uh, running the script, that's actually very strange. Here you see, so I have a callout of the first line, I have a callout of the second line, it's very simple to navigate, I don't need to think about the indexes at all, so I just need to remember the name of the columns, and the name of the columns are exactly the same that I have in the file. So it's very simple to code in the future because I will get this object outside this function. The problem is I have too many rows that have no meaning to me and I don't want to have them. I want to only to stay with those that have some data in it. So what I'm going to say first, I'm going to add here if values of row and if not values of row is means that this row has no data or don't, don't have columns or whatever, just break the cycle here. And one more thing I need to do is I need to check if this, uh, where it is here, if this actually has anything inside. So what I do, I say cell data, so the data inside the cell equals this, and then if not cell data, then continue and don't put anything there. Continue. Uh, this will prevent us from most of the mistakes or from most of the data that uh, has no uh, stuff inside. But still, if instead of showing the callout, I will show the whole dictionary there, the dictionary will exist because I still push it. I just don't add anything there, but it will uh, have no data there. By the way, it's not working somehow. Ah, if values of row index, of course, that was stupid. But it took some time to understand why it was not working. Okay, now I have identified. Why it's unidentified? It's um, ah, it's okay because I don't have a call out here. If I just return, sorry, that was my stupid mistake. So copy here, put it here, and now you will see that I have empty dictionaries. Of course, that's correct one. So what I need to do, I need to check if the dictionary is empty. Don't add it to my array. Just skip it, because here. I check if the line has data and the line has data it just have an empty the, the, the length of the string is nothing so the line exists and we don't break the script here then we go to this line and say okay if this exact cell so for example this cell has no data in it don't this add data to my dictionary it's not the script is doing exactly what I say it does not add anything to my dictionary Although it still adds this dictionary, empty dictionary, to my huge array, to my data array. So what I need to do here, I need to check if the uh, length of the dictionary is not too big.